most people didn't even know that there was an island in Haiti. I know this uh, firsthand because I'm Haitian, and before the earthquake, when I told people where I was from, they had no clue. Um, let's start from the beginning. The island of Haiti um, <coughs> gained its freedom from the country of France in 1803. Um, the flag, this right here, was made of um, the French flag, which is blue, white, and red. The, the French flag was basically ripped, like the middle piece of the flag was ripped out, and then they just put the blue and the red flag together. In the middle of the flag, which is Right here, it's called the coat of arms. Right here, it has like palm trees, it has cannons, cannonballs, rifles, flags, drums, trumpets, a whole bunch of different things, I guess, from the culture. Um, in the middle of the flag, it also says, the union fit the force, which um, means union is strength. And Creole, which is the language of uh, Haitians. Um, the person who, who ripped who ripped the uh, the French flag to make the, the Haitian flag was uh, Jean Jacques de Salis, and I was um, basically the first dictator of Haiti. Island, the island of Haiti is uh, a part of a, it was a country of Haiti, is a part of an island called Hispaniola, which is located um, right on the Florida, which you can see is connected with the Dominican Republic, so the two um, countries share the same island. The first name of the country, when it was a colony of, of France, was San Domingo, and it was a, a colony of France until 1803 when it won its independence from, from France. Uh, Second thing I'm going to talk about is the people. I thought um, Jean Jack de Salis, he the one that led the, uh, the, the Haitians from the independence of France. <laughs> making the making the first the making Haiti the first um, black independent republic. Um, he also changed the name from San, Santo Dominguez to Haiti. Um, see, there's a couple uh, of people I'd like to show you that are Haitian and are um, famous. The first is Jonathan Vilma. The linebacker from the, the New Orleans Saints who just won the Super Bowl. The second is Wyclef John, the rapper. And the third is Pierre Garçon, the receiver from uh, the Indianapolis Colts. You see he has the flag draped over the, the, um, the AFC Championship uh, trophy. In conclusion, the island of Haiti has more has more to it than just the earthquake. It's an island full of proud people that are working hard to bounce back from the natural di disaster. La Union fed the force. That's it. So Joey, what did you think? Um, I thought you were a little nervous because you kind of like had your note cards kind of jumbled up a little bit, but all the facts were really good. It's a lot of stuff that nobody knew about Haiti prior to the earthquake. Um, it's kind of short, but all the information was good. I just think maybe just kind of relax next time and just kind of put it all together before you go up and speak. Other than that, it was okay.
Right. Yeah, it's a, it's a little underdeveloped, and I think you need to add some more things to it to make it more interesting. I, I think you picked out a couple of things at the end. You talk about uh, well-known uh, contemporary celebrities who are from Haiti, and uh, you could fill in with a story, for instance, about them and why they're here or uh, what they did in response to the earthquake and that kind of thing so that it's more than just you know, a checkoff list, three people from Haiti that we might know or might have heard of. Uh, same sort of thing at the beginning. It seemed to me like you jumped in on the subject with the, you're talking about the flag, and I'm trying to figure out, because you've got the flag in your hand, why are you talking about the flag first? And it seems like that's kind of important in uh, the uh, creation of the independence, that it was when they broke away from France and uh, they, but they also wanted to apparently show that they once were part of France, so they kept part of the flag, but they just took out the middle section. So there's some significance to that story, and it's really about the start of the country. Well, then that makes some sense, and you need to kind of tell it from that perspective. As it is, you kind of are describing the flag first without giving us the historical context, and then you go back into talking about, you mentioned the one guy that you said became the dictator of Haiti. I guess apparently we would maybe the leader. I don't know. He was a dictator. I, I, I don't know. Because we don't really know much about how they achieved that. Was there a revolution? Were they granted their freedom? Was it uh, some war that took place? That kind of thing. I'm also kind of interested to know why it is that the island is divided uh, and uh, you know why you have two countries occupying the one island instead of um, being a single country and that kind of stuff. So there's some information that doesn't quite get into the speech that I think needs to be there. There's no setup of what the structure is going to be, but when you're in the speech, you do have transitions <coughs> indicating that we're moving from one idea to the next. I thought that was pretty good. Uh, the flag is okay. We can see that, uh, and you, you show it okay. I think you do want to be a, a little bit more you know, assertive about holding it up and showing it. You kind of have it almost like a, a rag, and I don't, I don't think... That's probably a little disrespectful, but uh, you know, maybe hold it up and show a little bit more of it. But the other visuals, they're just, you know, the pictures that you had at the end, they were okay. They're large enough that you can probably see most places. I could not see anything on the map that you had whatsoever. You know, there's just no contrast whatsoever. So most of that stuff you could put on a transparency and make it so much easier to see. All right, thank you.